today's tutorial. My name is Hamted. We are going to be solving question 2 from your tutorial sheet. Uh, so if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, kindly click on the button to subscribe and then if you have any questions feel free to contact me on the on any of these numbers on the screen. Uh, so I'm also offering physics uh, tuitions and mathematics so feel free to contact me if you need them. Alright so let's quickly begin. So question 2 says determine the values of alpha and theta so that the forces shown in this figure below will, will be in equilibrium. So how can you determine these values? So in other ways, uh, when this force that is uh, moving, uh, this is um, this is uh, this is I think north northwest. Okay, let me just be saying when this force which is moving this side. And this force which is moving this side when added in short they're supposed to give us this one for these two uh for these forces to be in equilibrium so now how do we deal with that so we can either use uh newton uh laws of motion to or rather we can either use uh, the 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 laws of equilibrium to find uh the values of alpha and uh, theta there but that one would be uh it would cost us a lot of time so we're just going to use the normal mathematics to solve this question. That is by using the cosine rule. And how do we do that? Let us express these um, three vectors uh, in one triangle. In, in one triangle. Let us put them in one triangle in short. How do we do that? So I'm going to draw this vector, which is vector 20 kilonewtons. I'll draw the 20 kilonewtons first in this side. And then I'll also draw these 40 kilonewtons. So these 40 kilonewtons is like this. So I'm also going to draw these 40 kilonewtons, but instead of drawing it this side, I'm going to draw it coming from this side. Okay, so we have that, and then remember there's also this uh, 30 kilonewtons. So this kilo 30 kilonewtons is going down. So this one is going like this. So we have a 40 kilonewtons. We have a 30 kilonewtons, and then there's also this 20. So this 20, I can draw a parallel vector to this one, which can just be somewhere this side. So I'll have something like this. So this, this what we have found right now is um, a triangle that we're going to use to uh, solve for uh, alpha and theta. So. The corresponding angles for alpha, when you look at these two vectors, this one which is coming from this side and this one, the corresponding angle for alpha there will be um, theta. And then if you look at this vector which is going this side, it's parallel to this vector here. So since they are parallel, there's a z angle there, there's this one and there's also that one. So meaning these two angles are equal. So our alpha there, we can write it there. So this one is uh, 20 kilonewtons. So let us now begin to calculate. So calculations are simple and straightforward. So using the cosine rule, we know that cos, um, we know that according to the cosine rule, according to the cosine rule, we know that when you are calculating for anything, for any side, yeah, for, for the opposite side to the uh, to the cosine angle or to theta. For instance, if I'm calculating for this side, let's say I have this is A, this one will be my small letter A. If this is B, this one will be my small letter B. If this is uh, C, this one will be my small letter C. Or rather C, it's supposed to be C. So how do we do the calculations now? So to find um, to find um, theta, to find the theta according to the cosine rule, it means that we're going to start with uh, a as um, our first letter there. So we are going to write our formula as A squared is equal to, because we're trying to look for theta, so we get the opposite side, uh, the opposite side to theta is the one that we start with, which is just A. So we say A squared is equal to B squared plus C squared minus 2, uh, 2B, this is B, so 2BC. 2BC, then we have cos, uh, cos theta there. So this one is straightforward. Yeah, so this one is straightforward. 
we can now just replace the figures there so our a squared is the one that is just opposite to the angle there which we are finding so this is this is going to be 20 squared and then we say this is equal to b squared b squared is right opposite to b there so there's an angle alpha there so b b is there so b squared small letter b is this side so we say 30 uh squared so 30 squared and then c is uh right opposite to that so we say plus uh 40 squared minus 2 times 30 times 40 then cos uh, our theta is there it's the one that we're looking for so now we just have to make cos theta the subject of the formula so we are going to have something like uh, so this um 20 squared this is uh, 400 and then 30 squared this will give us 900 then 40 squared this is 1600 and then uh, and then we have minus 2 and then while there's 30 there i mean 2 times 30 times 40 this will give us something like 2400 and then we have cos theta so you just have to make uh, cos theta the subject of the formula so this 900 and 1600 when you add them you get 2500 and then you have something like this is equal to 2500 minus 2 4 cos theta so you take this 2500 to the other side of the equal sign so you are going to have uh, something like this you are going to have something like this so 400 minus 2,400, you are, you are getting 2,001 is equal to 2,400, then cos theta. So there we make cos theta the subject by dividing. Of course, this one is going to be negative. This one will also have a negative. Uh, when you subtract here, you also have a negative this side. Okay, so we divide everything by negative 2,400, negative uh, 2,400. Yeah, so when you do the division there, the answer will simply just be cos theta is equal to, uh, we say 2,100 divided by 2,400. So that will give us 0.875. So our theta will simply just be equal to cos inverse of 0.875. So theta is simply just equal to cos inverse of answer which is just uh, equal to 28.96 point, um, 28 so 28.96 is the angle there that is needed for us to find okay so let us move on to the to the next um, uh, part the next side so the next side that we are looking for is um, uh, I mean the next angle that we're looking for is alpha so if this is alpha it means that we're going to start with B so what is a squared we're going to put B and then what is B we'll put A and then C there will remain so let us quickly do it fast fast so we have our triangle which is like this we have B there then we have A so small letter B this side small letter A there then we have small letter C have capital letter C then we have alpha there we have beta there so this one is 30 kilonewtons and then this other one is um, 40 kilonewtons and then we have this other one which is 20 kilonewtons okay so from there we can now do the mathematics there so the opposite to this angle is uh, b so we start with b squared in the uh, in the cosine rule so let me write it on okay let me write it here it's okay so we start with b squared we're going to say b squared is equal to so we'll say a squared plus c squared minus 2ac and then we say cos um alpha we're looking for alpha in this case so our b squared b squared b is equal to the opposite of this same angle so which is 30 we're going to have 30 squared minus or uh, rather equals uh, our a is 20 so a is this one is 20 squared minus c is 
uh, 40 kilo newtons so c is 40 kilo newtons so the cosine rule is used to calculate um, uh, is used to find the values uh, or rather the sides of a triangle and the angles in a triangle if you have been given at least two uh, i mean at least uh, two sides and one angle you can find the other side Yes, that's how it is. At least two sides and one angle, you can find the other side. If you've been given two angles and one side, then you have to use the sine root. The sine root. That's what that's what you're supposed to use. Okay, so we say minus 220, 40. And then you say cos alpha. So 30 squared, this is 900, is equal to uh, 400 minus... 1,600 this is 400 minus 1,600 okay then from there we have um, minus 2 times 20 times 40 700 so this will give us 1,600 and then we say cos alpha so from there when you subtract these two you get 1200 so we have 1200 of course would be a negative this would be a negative yes it's going to be a negative so say minus 1600 cos uh, alpha so when you take this to the other side of the equal sign you have 900 minus 1200 so this would be equal to negative 1600 uh, cos alpha so in subtract here, you get 900 minus 1,200. That's a 300. There's supposed to be a plus here, sorry. There's supposed to be a plus. So when you add this one and that one, you have to get, um, this is uh, 2,000. Yeah, so you have to get 2,000, not what I got here. So positive 2,000. When it crosses the equal sign there, you get... Uh, so everything changes we have a 2000 there so this 2000 will come this other side so we're going to say we're going to say um, so when this crosses the equal sign this will be 900 minus 2000 so this will give us two this will give us 1001 and this will be a negative we say is equal to negative 1600 then cos alpha so from there we can now just make cos alpha the subject by dividing everything by 1600 since you have 1001 divided by 1600 they are all negative so cos alpha will now be equal to 0 0.6875 so alpha will just be equal to uh, cos inverse so alpha will be equal to cos inverse of 0 0.6875. So alpha is equal to the cos inverse of this will give us um, 46.56. So 46.56 is um, 46.57 rather when you round it off. Yeah, so that is the value for alpha. So I've managed to find alpha and beta. So that was just an error where I, I put a, pl a minus here instead of a plus. So there's a plus there that I'd put a minus. But it's good that I noticed it earlier and I corrected it. So let's move on to the next question. Thank you very much for watching today's tutorial. Feel free to inbox me if you have any questions. And don't forget to subscribe. My name is Hamted.